the dynamic nature of storytelling, the cap seller and the clever monkeys. Once in a small town, there lived a boy who sold caps. He inherited his business acumen from his father, who was also a cap seller and a torchbearer of nepotism. The cap seller would travel to nearby towns and ghettos, selling caps to anyone who needed them. One day, as usual, he decided to go to the next ghetto to sell his caps in the market. Caps, caps, caps. Five rupees caps, ten rupees caps. The cap seller shouted loudly as he walked through the village streets. Later, while walking through a concrete jungle with his basket of colorful caps, he grew tired from the sun's heat. He had walked a long distance and decided to rest. With hardly any trees around, he lay down under a cluster of cable wires. Placing his basket on the ground, he said to himself, I am so tired. Let me take a small nap. He barely slept before he woke up. There were many monkeys around him, and slowly, one of them peeped out from the cable wires. The monkeys were very naughty. One of them came down and, upon seeing the caps, whistled. All the other monkeys responded to his whistle. One by one, they took away all the caps from the cap seller's basket. Each monkey wore a cap and started playing happily, except for one monkey who couldn't get a cap but remained very calm. When the cap seller woke up, he was shocked to see his basket empty. He searched for his caps everywhere and, to his surprise, saw the monkeys up on the cable wires wearing them. He tried various ways to get his caps back. He used all strategies, from persuasion to threats, but the monkeys remained playful. Then he remembered a story his father had once told him about a similar incident. His father had fallen asleep under a tree, and when he woke up, the monkeys had taken his caps. To get them back, his father had thrown his own cap on the ground, and the monkeys imitated him, throwing their caps as well. So, he used his cleverness to get his caps back. He removed his own cap and threw it on the ground. Seeing this, the monkey who hadn't gotten a cap calmly came down and took the remaining cap. The young cap seller, shocked, started yelling. The calmer monkey said, if your father told you this story, don't you think our fathers told us the same story too? The Danger of a Single Story The story of the cap seller and the smart monkeys highlights the dynamic nature of storytelling and then the danger of a single narrative. The cap seller relied solely on his father's story, thinking it was a unique solution. However, the monkeys, having heard the same story from their fathers, were prepared for his tactics. In life, relying on a single narrative or perspective can limit our understanding and problem-solving abilities. Just as the cap seller was surprised by the monkey's awareness, we can be caught off guard if we fail to consider multiple viewpoints and experiences. The danger of a single narrative is that it oversimplifies complex situations and assumes a one-size-fits-all solution, which can lead to unexpected challenges and misunderstandings. This story serves as a reminder to seek diverse perspectives, question assumptions, and embrace the complexity of different narratives in order to navigate our world more effectively.